Hey, what is going on, guys? In this video today, we're going to be talking about the hottest new setting slash feature for controller Fortnite. And when I say new, I use that term kind of loosely because I believe it's actually been in the game for a little over a month now. But the setting I'm referring to here is called Foot Controller. Now, I want to put the disclaimer out there that I am by no means the first person to find or talk about this. I know plenty of other controller YouTubers out there have covered it, and it's why I never really planned to make a video about this specific topic. But over the past week or so, I've had so many people tweet me or comment on my videos, basically asking for my thoughts on the foot controller setting and whether or not they should use it. And to be honest, I never even planned on trying this setting myself, but with all the discussion and questions regarding it, I finally decided to give it a chance a few days ago. So without further ado, let's get into talking about foot controller and whether or not I think using it will improve your skill in areas such as aim, building, and editing. Alright, so even though as I mentioned, a decent amount of people have already made videos on foot controller, I still want to briefly explain it because for at least some of you guys, this will probably be the first time you're ever hearing about it. Foot controller is a setting in Fortnite which I believe is actually designed for players that use a controller with their feet due to a variety of possible medical reasons. And sadly, as of right now, this setting is only available if you play on PS4 or play on PC with a controller. So for my fellow Xbox guys out there, this option simply isn't in the game yet. My guess is that it will be coming sometime in the future, so if you're watching this video weeks or months after it's released, it may be different. But as of right now, September 8th, 2019, it's PS4 and PC with controller only. So what you want to do to try it out is go into your settings and turn foot controller to on. However, along with that, you'll also see two additional settings under it named Foot Controller Dead Zone and Foot Controller Max Throttle. You also need to turn both of those numbers down to the lowest possible value, which I believe is .01. So what this somewhat strange setting actually does is it takes away aim acceleration from your controller. I have no clue how or why that's the case, but people have tested it and apparently it really is true. Now in case you don't know what aim acceleration is, I actually made a video about it a few months ago that I'll try to remember to annotate on the screen right now, but here's a quick little summary of why it's important. Aim Acceleration is a feature defaultly built into Fortnite for controller players that up until now hasn't been possible to disable. And what it does is it makes it so that whenever you move your thumbstick to aim, you don't move at the same speed the entire time. Let's say you play on 7 sensitivity, you would expect that as soon as you start moving your right thumbstick slash R3, you'd be moving at the speed of 7 sensitivity. But what really happens is something like this. Right away you'll start moving at the speed of maybe 2 or 3 sensitivity, then maybe 100 milliseconds later you jump up to something like 4 or 5 sensitivity, and then sometime after that you eventually reach the max speed of 7 sensitivity and stay at that until you stop moving. Now obviously, that right there is just a rough estimate, and the exact way it works is definitely much more complicated than that. But why aim acceleration is problematic is because since the sensitivity you're moving at is constantly changing, especially at the very beginning of your movement, it makes it somewhat difficult to build muscle memory for any of the mechanics in the game which involve aiming, which is pretty much all of them. So that hopefully describes why the foot controller setting, which disables aim acceleration, is so intriguing. And now, it's time to talk about how effective it really is. So first off, a few days ago, I tweeted asking my followers who've tried the foot controller setting whether or not they felt it's actually improved their aim. 
So I just want to quickly share a few of the responses I received that I think highlight a few different viewpoints. At Brocky Jum replied, yeah, a hundred thousand percent. You can actually gain muscle memory easier if you ask me. At Jones Peace TV responded, had it on for about a week now, aim's improved a lot. And at Voltify said, yes, my aim has improved a ton and I can confirm this. And honestly, out of all the responses I got, I would say the vast majority of them were definitely positive. I do recall a few replies saying they felt the setting was more of a placebo than anything else, or even that it made certain mechanics like editing feel worse, but again, those responses were definitely outnumbered by the positive ones. Then, I decided to go on Reddit and look for a thread about the foot controller setting to try to get even more responses from a different audience. One comment said, after a week of using it, I will definitely be keeping it on. After a few day adjustment period for aiming, it's so worth it. Movement feels so much quicker. Another person replied saying, it's much, much better because I naturally flick on controller and that's kinda impossible with acceleration, but without the acceleration, my accuracy has been much better. And finally, a third response said, Yeah, my shotgun aim and SMG tracking has improved tremendously, plus character movement is clean in general compared to before, but medium to long distance AR tracking feels a bit weird, but might need getting used to. The feedback I saw on Reddit was similar to what I saw on Twitter, but I definitely did notice a few more negative responses this time around. Positive was still definitely the majority, but it probably wasn't as overwhelming as the Twitter responses were. So now, I guess it's time for me to give my opinion. I've been using the foot controller setting for roughly 3-4 to four days now, and I have mixed opinions about it so far. I didn't notice a huge difference at first, but as time goes on, you'll definitely realize that it does feel different than playing with the setting off. And in the first day or so, I'll be honest, I didn't really like the way that it felt, especially for aiming. But I think that makes sense based on the fact that I've been playing Fortnite without aim acceleration for literally the last two years now, and as time went on and I continued playing, I felt myself getting more and more used to it. I especially like the way that building and editing felt. I think because those actions require a decent amount less precision than aiming does, it's going to be easier to adjust to those mechanics than it will be to adjust to aiming. However, I also experienced some of the negative things I saw people say about the foot controller setting as well. My player movement in close range fights was probably the biggest example of that. I'm someone that really pays a lot of attention to my movement in shotgun slash SMG fights because I believe it's one of the most underrated skills in all of Fortnite. So I noticed right away that my movement felt kinda clunky and awkward compared to what it was without using foot controller. So my general thoughts are, if you play on PS4 or PC with a controller, it's definitely worth it to at least give this setting a try. And if you do give it a try, make sure to at least play with it for a few days before making any kind of final decision on if you want to continue using it or not. Because I can almost guarantee you that since you've built so much past muscle memory with aim acceleration, that suddenly having it turned off is surely going to feel odd. So if you just play one or two games and then give up and turn it off, it's kind of pointless to even try it in the first place. Like I said earlier, even though I've been playing with foot controller on for a few days now, I can still tangibly feel myself getting more and more used to it as time goes on. I haven't made an absolutely final decision on if I'm going to keep it on, but I'm leaning more towards yes as of right now. And when I make my updated settings video sometime in the near future, I'll definitely let you guys know what I decided. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you watched the entire thing, be sure to let me know with a comment down in the comment section below. If you're a controller player on either PS4 or PC, let me know if you either already use or plan on using the foot controller setting. 
And for all you Xbox guys, hopefully you get the chance to try it if the settings added to the game in the future. Be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, do whatever the heck you want, and I will catch you guys next time.